Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Philip. I'm also known as BS or PS Enough. Today we are going to talk about books and this book in particular. Isaac Asimov's... this way. Isaac Asimov's Pebble in the Sky. So, um, it was one of his first novels. You see my cat here. See all over the camera. And uh, it was one of his first novels and uh, science fiction novels, of course. Um, it started his Empire or Galactic Empire series. Uh, then he ended up connecting them with his Robot and Foundation series as well. So it's it's a it's a bit gluing all of those worlds. It's a very interesting read, especially if you know his other works on the the other series. As I knew, I already read the Foundation and the Robot series. So this was a nice middle place to remind myself of the entire um, world that he created, our universe. And at the same time, bringing back some of the political agendas that he had written in the book. So... Um, it's mostly the story of uh, a person who is living in Chicago in his, in 1949, I think the timeline is. And he got mysteriously transported into the future. And in the future, um, Earth is still a planet, but it's more radioactive than before. Supposedly because of a third world war where a nuclear intervention made Earth radioactive. And this is like a play to the Cold War tension that was existing in the moment uh, when the author wrote this book. Um, but anyways, it got transported into the future and there's this whole galactic universe that exists where Earth is not very important. It's not the capital of the Empire, it doesn't rule the Empire. It's just a pebble in the sky. That's where the name comes from, from the title of the book. And... Um, there's some sort of plot in this world. There are a few factions uh, who try to bring back the return, the glory to to Earth, uh, and they want to cause like a revolution and uh, take over the galaxy once again. And a few of these characters are caught in between the guy who transported himself to the future. His name is Schwartz. Um, he ends up in this foreign land. He starts to recognize as being his old Earth in the future. Uh, he meets up with a doctor and uh, an archaeologist. Also plays a very important part in this book. Uh, the archaeologist is from another world or from another uh, part of the galaxies from Sirius. And it's uh, very interesting to see. I don't want to spoil the story itself, but it has a lot of political intrigue, and it also makes you reflect on how how badly people who used to be the same of the same ancestry how badly they treat each other because of generations that have pulled them culturally apart. And you see this very specifically between the Earth and the Outsiders, as they call or the Earth people and the Outsiders. The Outsiders consider the Earth people scum, and the Earth people resent that they're being considered scum, and they think they should be like the overlords of the universe. Um, so yeah, it's a very interesting play on that, a lot of play on racism as well, and uh, uh, breaking the boundaries of that, and bringing people together to overcome uh, more significant dangers to the entire uh, mankind. Um, I really liked the book. I think it was interesting. It it shows that it's Isaac Asimov's first novel. There are a few things that could be easily be better. Um, some things in the characters, they don't seem to be very well developed. It could be better. It's not bad, but it's not really as good as the characters from the other books that he has written. Um, also the descriptions of Earth, it seems that it's, it's a bit, it leaves you a lot to imagination. It doesn't really explore everything that it could really explore, um, in terms of description, I mean. So I found it a little poor in that regard, but considering it was his first novel and the first exploration of this universe that he was creating, I can understand where that came from. And of course, on the Foundation series and on the Robot series, he had already a lot more time to think of the whole universe and how things fitted together. And that's where he started to carve out more prominent cultural differences and how exactly things are supposed to look 
Um, so yeah, but it's a very interesting read. I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, if you are a fan of Isimov and his foundation or his robot series, you definitely should check this one out. There are three books in this collection. Uh, I don't know the name of the other two out of my head, but this was the first one written. But in terms of chronological order, it's the third one, I think. The other two are prequels to these. And I think the other one is called Stars Like Dust. And there's the third one, which I don't remember. Oh, it's here. The Currents of Space. So yeah, these are the three uh, books, a part of this Galactic Empire series. Pebble in the Sky, The Stars Like Dust, and The Currents of Space. Pebble in the Sky was the highest rated one, so it was the one that I had more interest in checking. Don't know if I will check the other two or not, but they just should still be interesting i mean if they if i will find them if i will find them like in the library or something i might get them not sure if i will buy them but we'll see never say never so yeah i hope this video was useful let me know what you guys think on the comments below and uh, see you next time bye bye everyone take care